Good afternoon. An independent Christian school in Hampshire is launching a legal challenge against the government's plans to introduce VAT onto private school fees. The King's School says the changes would force many faith schools to close, making it impossible for parents to give their children a religious education. The government says the revenue is needed to fund its education priorities, such as recruiting new teachers. And Janet Gagko reports. A joyful start to the day at the King's School in Fair Oak. Private education for four to 16 year olds, where God is at the centre of everything they do. Parents sending their children to this school, it's given them an easier opportunity to express their religion and who they really are. This school is much more like community, more family orientated. Um, well, me personally, since year seven, seven, I've grown so much because the teachers are actually all loving. They don't hesitate to give you advice. All the teachers in our school mainly work here because they feel called in their faith to do so. So they're not here for the money, they're not here for the pay. They're here just because they want to help us grow as people. The school's launching a legal challenge, claiming the government's proposed introduction of VAT on private school fees is discriminatory, as it could force Christian schools to close. I think the government's either misunderstood or has ignored the diversity within independent education. I think when most people think of independent schools, they're thinking Boaters, they're thinking Eton, they're thinking Harrow, but there's a whole range of independent schools like ours. Almost three quarters of the school budget goes on wages, with staff earning around 70% of what they'd earn at a state secondary. But it's a freedom for teachers to bring Christianity into every lesson, which Caroline thinks gives kings the advantage over faith schools in the state sector. On average, independent schools across the country charge £18,000 a year for each pupil. The King's School charges annual fees of £8,000 per child, while each state school pupil costs the government £7,690. But the government says all money raised would go to improving education, including 6,500 new teachers. If you're a parent that wishes to send your child to a private school, whether that be uh, for religious or other reasons, you will still be able to do so. And we know that private schools have already increased fees uh, in excess of inflation uh, over the last 10 years. So we know that actually many schools could be absorbing these costs and as private businesses it is up to them to decide. Because our margins are so tight, we're not able to say we can absorb the VAT. We're going to have to pass that on to parents and that could be devastating for some. The school describes learning as a faith journey. It's hoped most parents and pupils will last the distance if the changes are brought in in January. And Jana Gadgil, BBC South Today.